We continue now with our coverage on the unrest that unfolded at the U.S. Capitol yesterday and at states around our country. You are taking a live look now in Hartford at our state capitol where all is calm and all is quiet. And this morning, the General Assembly will be in session. Connecticut Capitol Police Public Information Officer Scott Driscoll joined us now because, Scott, many Americans are still grappling with the images from yesterday in Washington, and they're wondering what is being done here at home to protect our state capitol and keep our lawmakers safe. So what kind of assurance can you give us this morning when it comes to that protection? Well, good morning, Nicole. We have a lot of policies and procedures in place, and we have trained for situations just like this. And here at the Capitol Police, we, right now the building is closed to the public. So even if it was open to the public, we have things in place that protect people, whoever enters our building, whether it's going through our metal detectors, going through our packet scanners. We have a full-time police department here of seasoned veteran officers who are always at every entrance door and there for whatever we need. So our biggest priority is whoever enters the building, whether you're an elected official, an uh, employee here or a guest, your safety here is our utmost responsibility. And we have a lot of things in place for that. And I'm sure you have a lot of things in place in case there are any threats. Do you know of any threats uh, against our lawmakers this morning? Not, not that we are reporting anything right now against our, our lawmakers. And yes, we do have a lot of things in place. We train for those situations. We also have great relationships with our surrounding police departments, the Hartford Police Department and the Connecticut State Police. We have great working relationships with them and we confide with them and we talk with them about planning for these kind of situations. So we feel very confident that anyone who enters here or comes to our complex is very safe. And what is the best thing we as viewers, as residents here in Connecticut can do to help your job in keeping our lawmakers safe? Well, I think when, we, when it comes to lawmakers is we, we kind of listen to each other and respect each other. Uh, we, we all have different opinions on things. And when we show up to voice those strong opinions, we have to realize that there's still laws in place that we have to follow. And we have to be respectful to each other, whether you're in a uniform or you're a protester or you're here to just speak on behalf of something you believe in. We have to respect each other and realize that we all want to go home safely at the end of the day. And we at the Capitol Police are going to do everything in our power to make that environment safe. So you have the right to come and speak, but we're also going to protect those around us and ourselves. Connecticut Capitol Police Public Information Officer Scott Driscoll, thank you for joining us and thank you for everything that you're doing to protect us. My pleasure. Have a great day.